it's time. Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man, and as you know, I have been anxiously awaiting the release of the Crown Heads Court Reserve 18. I have it in my hands. This is the Corona Gorda size, and this is what we're talking about today. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving 2018, and very appropriate time for this uh, for this cigar, based on why they uh, made this cigar and, and the time of season that we're getting it and everything. Uh, but anyways, stick around. We're going to light this thing up and do a review. Okay, so the Crown Heads Court Reserve. This was announced this year at the IPCPR show. And uh, basically, the, it, the, the reasoning behind the cigar is a cigar specifically for the supporters of Crown Heads and, and the people who have become fans of Crown Heads cigars. Um, Crown Heads, the company, has often referred to those people over the years as their court, hence the name Crown Heads Court Reserve. Uh, it is the first cigar that they've made that bears their name. Everything else has had some other name, some other meaning behind the name, uh, but this one is the first cigar that actually carries the Crown Heads name. Uh, like I said, this is the Corona Gorda size, so it's a Five and five eighths by forty six, very unusual size for me personally to smoke. Um, I I hardly ever smoke anything this small. I did this because I know John Hoover is a fan of smaller cigars, uh, and I think this size in particular is his favorite. And I've heard him comment on that before. I, as you guys know, I'm a uh, five by fifty four guy. That's my wheelhouse, but. Um, and then outside of that, I go up to Toros and, and uh, the Sublime size by uh, Crown Heads is also a, a favorite size of mine. But I kind of went with this specifically because the reason why he goes for cigars that are smaller like that is because typically you're getting a higher wrapper to filler ratio. And hence, you're getting more flavor out of the wrapper. Uh, I've noticed that. I actually have noticed that before with some different uh, smaller size cigars I've smoked, but being that this is Crown Heads and I've been waiting for this cigar, I was taking a chance that the best experience out of this new stick is going to be in this particular size, so, uh, so I bought a box of these. Um, it comes in three sizes total, the Corona Gorda, five and five eighths by 46, a Robusto, which is five by 50, and then their sublime size, which is six by 54. Uh, so I'll probably try to find some of that sublime size because that's a, that's a pretty nice size as well. The wrapper is Mexican San Andreas, binder is Ecuadorian, and the filler is Nicaraguan. A total of 150,000 cigars were made. So that's, if you do the math, boxes of 20, that's a total of 7,500 sticks, or I'm sorry, 7,500 boxes. Um, that are going out. Um, let me just tell all the High Desert Man fans out there that uh, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, starting Friday, uh, Black Friday through Cyber Monday, High Desert Man is doing a 25% off sale. Everything in the store, uh, smoke chest kits, all of our beard and, and grooming products, everything like that. So um, the, oh, there's a code for it that is good starting Friday morning, uh, 12 a.m., and that code is BFCM2018, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 2018. So go to highdesertman.com and uh, check out some of our stuff and pick up a, a smoke chest kit or something. One other piece of news on the smoke chest kit. Um, there's a lot going on right now with making the new boxes and, and all that. I, as you know, our, our, the company that was making the inserts for us, um, we can no longer work with them because they partnered with another company and, and they had to get rid of smaller accounts. 
Um, I found another company who's reviewing uh, our files and our uh, what we're doing and stuff, and they're trying to uh, determine um, uh, what they can do it for us uh, and what cost-wise and everything. But that aside, I have officially ordered uh, lighters and cutters, and they have been shipped. And High Desert Man will soon be offering lighters and cutters in a, in a travel case on our website. All right. Let's get into this cigar. I will go with the V cut. Now I have smoked one of these already. I smoked one on my drive home uh, from the airport coming back from Seattle the other day. And I took my time. I was driving, so I wanted to really take my time driving home. I've got a three hour drive and uh, uh, stops for gas and all this stuff. But um, because of the wind and everything, I just wanted to be really careful, but I was dying to get into that box and, and try this stick. Uh, so I have smoked one already. This will be a different experience because I will be more focused on the actual smoke and the flavor and stuff. Hmm. Not much, uh, not much on the cold draw. It's just kind of um, maybe a very slight hint of sweetness, but it's just kind of a, a sense of tobacco-ness, but nothing else. Yeah, no spice. Nothing like that. All right. Hmm. Wrapper has a little bit, just a tiny hint of white pepper smell and toast, dry toast. Oh, the foot smells good. Okay, now there's some sweetness in the foot. Definitely coming through. I can't tell what though. It's just kind of a, a, a like a bready sweetness or a... a I don't know, man. I'm excited. I smoked one already, but I'm I'm excited. You know, you guys know I've been waiting for this stick. Let's torch it. All right, it definitely has some spice. Okay, the spice is hitting me in the roof of my mouth and down through my sinuses again, um, which is typically, especially if you're retrohaling, it's typically where it's gonna hit you. Um, but it is kind of hitting the roof of my mouth, uh, which I don't notice too often. There's no sweetness in it at all. It's definitely got that San Andreas wrapper. Um, in fact, that's probably mostly what I'm tasting right now. It's uh, San Andreas wrapper has a very signature flavor to it. And everyone is using that wrapper right now. It is a hot item. Um, so there's just a lot of stuff out there to choose from with that particular wrapper on it. Uh, Crown Heads actually has, I think they have no fewer than three cigars, including the new Buckeye Land that has the San Andreas wrapper. Um, this one, and I think the 2018 Las Calaveras does as well. Nice. So, shout out to Kevin at Cigar Prop. Kevin and I have become buds over uh, several months now. We've gone back and forth on uh, some different things, and we follow each other online and everything. Uh, and, uh, uh, I don't know, a week or two weeks ago, I sent Kevin 
a uh, little care package, not for anything, just just for fun. Really, what kind of triggered it was Kevin is a Camacho guy. I'm a Camacho guy. And he was, uh, I watched his review on the new hard charger, which I still haven't been able to find. Um, but anyways, he reviewed the hard charger and he mentioned that he didn't really realize that they had a Brotherhood series that had multiple releases and stuff. And because I had some of the um, Shellback, which was the second release in the Brotherhood series, and in my opinion, the best one so far, I sent him one of those. I sent him a few other cigars just uh, just for fun, and then I sent him some High Desert Man beard products. He makes his own beard care stuff, um, but you know, I thought it'd be kind of cool to give him a piece of Arizona. But the dude, Toot Sweet, uh, turned around and sent me a package, and I haven't opened it yet, so let's unbox it. Kevin D. Shahan, cigar prop. And I, I sent Kevin a text message yesterday saying, or yes, yesterday saying, hey, bro, I got your uh, package a couple days ago, but I just haven't opened it yet because I want to do an unboxing. Can't wait to see what's in there. <laughs> and uh, he replied back and said, yeah, I can't wait to see what's in there either. I can't remember what I sent you because <laughs> he sent out a bunch of packages that day. So uh, let's see what we got here. I, I got, I'm going to kind of look through this first and see if there's... Uh... All right. He sent me some beard care stuff. That's awesome. Sent me some of his uh, Irish beard balm. Some stickers. That's always cool. That's uh, I'm a sticker guy, and I got a place for my, my locker over there where all my stickers go. Sent me a cool little postcard here with uh, information about his company and stuff. Just uh, a bunch of pictures of him with his uh, with his family and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, Irish beard balm. I'll have to edit some of this out. Pretty similar to my ingredients. I want to see what this thing smells like. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and it's soft, too. My stuff is a little bit more firm than this. Okay. So, lighter stuff. He sent me a lip balm. That's very cool. And then there's something else in here. Oh my gosh, I know what this is. Right on. Yeah, that's it. So this is his new nub tool. Oh man, it's very cool. Very, very cool. It's man, it's super light. It, I th when I, I saw a video on this and I thought it was gonna be heavier, but it's really light. So yeah, a nub tool. Little bolt with, uh, with a nut on it there for, for fidgeting, which is totally cool because I fidget like crazy. And uh, and it's cool to actually see it in hand because this uh, little spear that you spear your cigar with in in his video, it looked like it was bigger and it looked like it might damage the cigar or something. It it, it just kind of looked bigger, but it's it's not very big at all, uh, um, thickness wise. That is very cool, Kevin. Thank you, man. That is really really awesome. I might use it on this thing. All right, guys, we're running long already. Uh, I didn't really plan to do that unboxing um, as part of this video, but I did. Um, so I'll cut out now and uh, come back in a little while and we'll talk about the cigar some more.
All right, guys, I'm back. And uh, let's take this band off. I took the other one off already. It has two bands. That one came off a lot easier than than the first one did. Oh, man. It, I, I was a huge fan of the 2018 Las Calaveras band. It just, the color, the band itself was kind of simple and, and not anything real special, but against the cigar, it was gorgeous. This one's the same thing. This is a really, really pretty band. That's the one, the main band. Here's the other one that I had already taken off. It tore a little bit more. All right, so the cigar. Um, oddly enough, it reminds me a lot of the 2018 Las Calaveras. Um, it's very similar, which which I, I can't remember for sure that the Las Calaveras uses a San Andreas wrapper, but I'm pretty sure it does because they're very similar. Now in that cigar, I went with the sublime size. So it's a six by 54, it's a bigger cigar. I'm not getting as much of the wrapper flavor. This, I'm getting a lot of wrapper flavor in it. I'll say this about this stick. If, if you're into spicier sticks, now it's not overpowering with spice. It's not a spice bomb, but it's a spicy cigar and that's pretty much all it is. It's, it's pretty unidimensional. I got no sweetness out of it throughout. Um, it it kind of fluctuated between the peppers and, and maybe a little bit of uh, sort of curry or turmeric uh, scents here. A, a couple times kind of faded in and out. But um, yeah, it's it's really kind of unidimensional. Now, I would say that this stick is a good afternoon stick. After uh, you've gone through the day, you've had something to eat and stuff. It's, uh, I would say it's a really good cigar to have after dinner. It's, um, it's a good cigar. I'm very happy with it. Um, I was expecting more. I, I, it might come across that I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not. I'm not trying to be that way. Um, I think I just expected a little bit more based on uh, the buildup, uh, listening to Crown Heads talk about it and stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a really good stick. Now, one thing I didn't talk about was the, the, the wrapper and the construction of the cigar, which um, I'm sorry about that. But So on this particular one, I don't remember on the other one I smoked because I was driving. It's kind of a rough cigar. It's it's um, it's not really toothy per se, but it's rough. It's it's bumpy. It's got some veins, uh, and it, you know I have noticed that with the San Andreas wrappers, they do tend to be um, more rough looking. Uh, it's just I, I think it's just because it's a Mexican San Andreas, the region where it grows and stuff. I think that's what that wrapper is. So. I have not seen a cigar with that wrapper uh, that looks real pretty. It has a nice velvety sheen to it and stuff. But it's a good stick. It does transition a little bit through those peppers and through the spices. And Honestly, something else this would go well with, I think, is a good cappuccino or maybe a latte with an extra shot. Not too much milk in there. I think it would go real good with that. It's a good stick. I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm curious now to try the sublime size just to see what the difference is in the wrapper to filler ratio. Um, this, one, this one, you're definitely getting a lot of that San Andreas wrapper. So if you are a fan of the San Andreas wrapper, I can definitely recommend this stick uh, in this size, the Corona Gorda. And I've been smoking this now for 
about an hour, We're coming up on an hour now. Uh, I figured it would have smoked a little quicker. It it has it did start to go out on me once, but I was watching one of Kevin's videos. He's he just put up a video, a, a cooking video. Uh, pretty cool. He's got his uh, chef hat on and stuff. It was a it was a cool video. Uh, so I was watching that and and I kind of got engrossed with that and let the cigar sit for a little bit. So it was probably my fault. Um, other than that, it didn't really have any burn issues. It burned pretty straight uh, the whole time. But I'm not. I'm. I don't really care about how well a, a cigar looks. I mean, a, a nice velvety cigar always looks nice and everything. But I don't really care. I, I can appreciate the toothier ones or the rougher looking ones just as much as as the nice looking ones. It's got a little bit of heat to it. Also, especially now that, that I'm getting toward the the final third here. It, it's a little bit of heat on the tongue. Not much. And the finish. Finish is kind of long on this. And it's got a good aftertaste in the finish. I'm happy. I am happy with it. It's... Uh, the fact that it's kind of unidimensional doesn't really bother me uh, because within within those peppers and stuff, it does kind of dance around uh, between white pepper and black pepper and, and that kind of thing. Even maybe some cayenne now is coming through uh, toward the end here. Good cigar. My dad would really like this cigar. I, uh, I'll have to have one with him. But there it is, guys. I finally, finally got to do it. Um, I'm not the first. There was, uh, I think, two weeks ago or so, there were two German guys that did a review of the Las Calaveras. But the whole thing was in German. I watched the whole video, couldn't understand anything they were saying. Uh, but it was just cool to, uh, and that was that, that was the only one I've seen so far. So I think I'm going to be the first. Uh, English speaker <laughs> and the first in the US, uh, which it doesn't really matter, but I kind of wanted to be the first on this cigar. Uh, I can definitely recommend this. Uh, if, you, if you've if you tried the Las Calaveras and you liked that one, you're definitely going to like this as well. There it is. All right, guys, I decided to come back one more time real quick for a, a closeout on this cigar. Uh, it has changed flavor just slightly, <clears throat> still a lot of pepper, but it got, it became warmer, not not warm heat wise, but just sort of a, a warmer sense, um, or like bready almost, warm bread or something. Not flavor wise, and I'm, I don't know how to explain it really, but it just kind of developed this sort, sort of warm, dry warm bread sensation it is heating up so i'm going to use kevin's tool here and uh let's see how far we go here all right i went right until i could just feel it on the other side with my finger Feels a little bit weird smoking it that way. I haven't done that before. But uh, th this thing is really cool. And uh, it's a small cigar, but it, it, it doesn't seem to want to spin or anything like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the pepper is picked up. It's it's definitely transition now. It's 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 the most noticeable transition because I'm at the end. There's more heat and stuff. Uh, it's the peppers. It, it's it's like all the peppers are sort of colliding and it's it's wrapping around my tongue now. It's really good. I'm I'm really happy with it and uh, I'm gonna smoke it down uh, a ways further, but. There it is.
in uh, the new nub tool by Cigar Prop. Thanks to Kevin for sending that to me. Stay rugged, my friends.